Hey everyone. So I'm going to try using coco coir instead of rock wool. So I'm actually going to just break off. I got this big brick. Um, this was, I think it was like $11 on Amazon. It's five kilograms. Um, so I'm going to just going to try to break a little bit off because I don't want to soak the whole thing. So I'm going to take a little screwdriver here and just kind of, kind of pry off a... I don't need a whole lot because this is a test right now. I figured even if it doesn't work, I can use this outside um, to freshen up my container in the spring. Alright, that's probably all I'm going to need. show you what I got in there. I'm going to soak this in water. And I'll be back. All right, so before I move this, I want to read it, make sure you guys can see it. This is Coco Core Block, premium 100% natural growing medium, suitable for hydroponics, seed raising, soil improving, and potting mix. Suitable for vegetable and flower plants, 100% natural, no harmful chemicals, high water holding, and high air porosity. Calcium and magnesium buffered, and it says low salt, less than 0.5 ms per centimeter. pH stable, 5.5 to 6.5. And then this just goes to tell you directions, place the cocoa core brick into a large container, and you know, how to, how to wet it and soak it to get it usable. Now since I only broke a little bit off, it was actually quite quick. Swing you over here. It was actually quite quick to uh, get it moistened up enough. Now this this is pretty moist. I grab a handful. I can squeeze out some water, which is okay because it's going to be soaking in water anyways. So if you saw my last video, I have my Keurig cup with a bunch of little holes in it. Now this is going to be a test. I don't know if that's going to be enough holes. I'm sure the roots are going to find their way out. But what we're basically going to do is I'm actually going to pack this in pretty good in the bottom portion. Leaving a little bit in the top area. And then I'm going to just pat it a little bit on top. Okay. 
Now this is what we're going to use to start our seed. And then this will actually go into my container, my milk jug that I made, um, that will actually hold this size cup. So it's, it's bigger. Well, I'll say it's bigger. It's about the same on the bottom as a two inch net cup. But naturally at the top, it's a little smaller. So I don't believe it's going to fit into a two inch hole. Actually, we're going to try that right now. Um, I, I manually cut the other one on my milk jug just so I can make sure it fit properly. But let's see if it fits into a two inch. It actually does. It fits into a two inch hole. I would might go one size smaller. Um, instead of the two inch, I might drop down one size, but that is really close to a two inch hole that you would need for the K cups. All right, so this is gonna be a, well, let's just, uh, we'll stay right here. So what I'm basically gonna do is wash my hands and then we're gonna get a couple lettuce seeds in there. Okay, so naturally, we're going to be doing the little gem butterhead because that's our favorite. So I'm just going to get a couple seeds out here. I got about, this actually isn't going to work because it's not wet. So I got four seeds in my hand. You can see them right there. So I'm just going to drop them in there. We'll kind of we'll take this and move them around a little bit. Just so if they do all sprout, I'll have room to snip them. There's one there. Well, I guess that one's staying in the middle. And one there. So we're just going to cover them up just a little bit. I'm going to just make sure they come in contact. I'm not pushing real hard. So I'll put a little bit of pressure. And then what I'm going to do... Just soak them in a little bit. Now the peat moss was wet, or cocoa coir was wet, but we're going to do that. And because I don't have my muffin tin anymore, we're just going to take and pop this guy over the top, cinch it up as much as we can to keep some moisture in there and we will put this right up here so we'll see if that germinates if it does we'll throw it into our new container and see if it grows all right follow along Okay, it's been two days since I did this cup. So this is a Keurig cup. I filled it with peat, um, cocoa coir, I mean, and I put some seeds in there. So I just, I set very little bit of water in the bottom of here. And then I set this on top. I covered it and set it up here on the light, under the light. And you can see I have germination of four seeds. And I put four seeds in. So we're going to leave it sit there for a little while. I'm going to leave it covered because they're not out a lot yet. But it's only taken, I believe, what is it, two, two days, I think. Two, maybe three. I'll have to look. I'll put it in the video. So snap that together. Keep in as much moisture as I can. Leave it sit there. And I'll wait until those get a little bit bigger, just sitting right underneath my light.
Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick update. So this is the another Kratky container. Again, milk jug. I just uh, painted it. This is the net pod out of a Keurig that I put holes in and I filled it with Coco Coir and that's it. No Rockwell, no clay pebbles, no nothing. Put the extra holes in the bottom and as you can see, doesn't mind it. Roots are making it out just fine. So I'm gonna let this one grow out. Um, I'll be doing a regular update. I just include this in my regular updates. Um, I won't update this specifically, but I'm gonna have to trim these out. Um, there's way more in there. All the seeds germinated, so only one will be left. But I would say that's a success. So no rock wool, no net cups. No problem. Find something that'll hold some cocoa coir. Find something that you can make a big enough hole in it. All reused stuff. Good to go. All right? If you guys liked the video, please click the like button. Please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Until next time, grow something. See ya.